Hi and welcome. I'm George Pierce. I want to thank you for watching. This video is about how to animate an image using a video editor. And what I've done uh, as a subject matter for or the example is I've used a, a hand, an animated hand, to go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell. And I, you have rights to this video. Uh, if this, if you wanted to use part that part of this video for your own benefit, you're welcome to do so. But I want to show you how to do that so you know how to do that for yourself if you want to move an image around. Uh, the video editor that I'm using is uh, Movavi Business 15. I happen to love it. I think it's a an excellent editor at a very fair price. You'll find a link below if, uh, if you want to check out Movavi Business. But uh, what I'm going to share with you is the next thing you're going to see is the actual uh, the end product, you might say, and then a description, uh, and uh, I'm going to kind of take you through the process so that you can do the same thing. So where I got my images was Pixabay. Uh, I get most of my images from Pixabay, pixabay.com. You'll find a link below to that. Uh, the subscribe button, what I did there is I used a snippet or snipping tool, and uh, I simply snipped that part of I know about the subscribe part I didn't subscribe snip the number of subscribers just to subscribe and that's how I got the image for that and of course I went to uh, you know import media and uh, set that up but I'll show you how you get the hand to move and uh, kind of how to make it all fit in together so enjoy the video So what I've done is I have imported gone to file, add media files, I've imported my mouse pointer, which is my hand, I've imported the subscribe button, I've imported the bell, and I went to my my backgrounds and use this this background here. You can import a background. This is the background below. Now what I did is, by the way, I, I right-clicked on these images and clicked on Edit as Overlay. And that is what allowed me to move them around and change their size. If I sized them down, they were, they were full size. I sized it down to the size I wanted, and then I put it where I wanted it on the page, which I wanted uh, probably uh, pretty much underneath the subscribe button. Then I'm going to move it over, I'm going to move it up to the subscribe button over here, and then up to the bell, which will be here. And I'll show you how we'll do that in just a second. So now I want to apply. If I don't hit apply, it won't apply. So then I want to go to animations. So I'll click on animation. And then I want to do advanced animation. I want to add an animation. Before I do that, click Add Animation. In the player, place the object where you want it to move. And the set the timeline and the length of the animation using the keyframe points on the timeline. Uh, I'll show you what that means in just a second. So I need to click on the image that I want to move. This is where I want my want my image to begin. Now I want to move my timeline to where I want it to. Now I want to move my image when I add the keyframe. When I add the keyframe. At that time frame, I want it up here on the subscribe button. Okay, now I want it back down, back down here, add keyframe, move it back down, I'm going to move it over here. I 
add a key for put it back down here. Now we're back at the bell. Now the bell is over here. I think I want the bell not I don't want the bell there. So I'm gonna shorten this up also just a little bit. But I want the bell to be here so let's make sure the bell is above it. I'll go back to the hand. I want the hand to move up to the bell. Animation. Add keyframe. Put the hand where I want it to be on the bell. Then I want to go back to that image again. Move it over here, add keyframe. Now I want the hand to go back down here. Click on that. All right, now let's see what we got. I want to probably shorten this just a little bit to this box to match up with that box. I clicked on the hand, moved it up to the subscribe button, moved it back down, moved it up to the bell, moved it back down. Let's see what is going to happen here when we play. And there it is. So it's pretty simple, as you can see. Uh, to make it a little bit easier, because the first time through is... Maybe a little difficult, but then once you've done it the first time, then, it, then you'll see it's, it's a simple process. But to make it easier for you, uh, I'm including below some instructions. You'll see them here in just a second. And uh, that's kind of a step-by-step -step instruction. So you'll have the written instructions plus the video. So you can put the kind of put the two together if you, if you need to and just follow it step-by-step. -step. And uh, then once you do it, then it'll, it'll be easy. You, as I mentioned before, you have the rights to this video. I'm going to set this up as Creative Commons. That way you can use that part of the video if you would like for yourself or any part of the video since it will be Creative Commons. I'm also putting together, it's not quite finished, a um, several different short snippet videos of uh, subscribe and hit the bell or at least subscribe. So I will leave a link below to that or put a link below to that as soon as the video is published, which is not published just yet. Now, of course, you're welcome to subscribe and that way uh, you won't miss out on any of these kind of videos. And uh, and you can see, <laughs> never seem to get the directions in the right way. Uh, you can see above, you should be able to see right there that, uh, you know, that I've overlaid that portion of this video um, as uh, on, on to this video so you can use that as well so I appreciate you uh, watching thank you so much and I do want to wish you much success